Hi, my name's Jess and I'm an advocate for women in technology. I sit on the board for Big ICT for Women, a non-for-profit organisation which empowers women to take up a career in technology. Did you know that only 28% of women represent the ICT sector? I head up a mentoring program which supports the women in the current ICT sector and empowers them to thrive in their careers. I challenge you to be bold and sign up for a mentoring program in support of the women you care about and encourage more women to take up a career in technology. National Women's Day is important because it's an opportunity to pause and reflect on how far we've come as women, to recognise the pioneering women all over the world who've led the charge and to identify what else remains to be done. For my part, I will stand in kindness as we work towards equity through policies, people, Hello, my name's Emily and I'm the co-founder of Usher Kids Australia. Uh, in celebration of International Women's Day, I'm here to tell you all about uh, what I do and how I hope to inspire not just my daughter, uh, but other females um, in Australia, in our com local community. Um, Usher Kids Australia is a group um, I established to help support children with Usher Syndrome. I have a seven-year-old son who suffers from Usher Syndrome, which is a rare genetic condition that causes deafness, blindness and balance issues. Uh, when he was first diagnosed, I found very little support for the condition in children, uh, so I took the initiative to set up uh, um, that support group. We now have families connected all across Australia, and uh, we hope to continue that support and that awareness for the condition. Uh, we also have an SBS uh, video on the feed on Monday night, which further illustrates what we're trying to achieve. Um, and we hope you can follow us and help spread the word about Usher Syndrome. Hi, I'm Sarah Soane, and I'm the learning support leader at Bentley West Primary School. In 2015, I was the Victorian Educational Excellence Award winner for Outstanding Primary Teacher for Victoria. This was for our work in leading our school in the work with reading difficulties and dyslexia, which has since become whole school change to ensure that every student is educated to their full potential, especially in regard to literacy. We know students with dyslexia learn best by the critical big six of reading, and we needed to ensure that this was happening in every single classroom. It's important to recognise our inspirational leaders, especially on International Women's Day. It's important that we ensure that every single young individual can aspire to be anything they want to be.